Okay, I just want to tell a little story about stock photography. Is it a story or is it a fairy tale? Once upon a time, once upon a time, once upon a time I thought, you know, it'd be a really good business opportunity? Stock photography. Mm. So years ago, I collected together a bunch of my photos and just thought these would be a good smattering to try out. Let's try uploading them to Adobe Stock. And most of them got rejected. It's one of those things you do it and you, oh, well, this is the parameters of it. They want photos of a certain type. You know, there's this whole list of things and it's kind of annoying because even when you know what the ooh. I mean I need a drink of water I literally I just ran from like right there and I'm, I, I'm already winded okay take two in this so I collect together a sampling of my entire history of photos and think, this will probably be good for stock photography, let's upload. It never goes as quickly as you think it'll go. Now, adding metadata tags to everything is something that I dislike doing all the time. You go through the process and you upload it, and they're like, oh great, I uploaded 20 photos. And then like 16 of them are rejected, and it's like, oh, well, these are the reasons. Didn't use any photos ever before I got my DSLR. They're all gonna be too much, things that just aren't up to quality. Okay, I get that. I gotta stay away from stuff that could have any of these kind of technical issues, and that's what I wanna upload. And so I put together some stuff that is that. It never works as easy as it says it's gonna work. It makes it seem like you upload it in that Lightroom and then you just hit publish. But then when you go to publish it, it would say, oh, you gotta reorder your tags. When you publish it, for whatever reason, it decided to shift your tags in hmm. order. So I had my tags in the order of pertinence, which really shouldn't matter, but whatever, it's nagging me about this. And, you know, upload the second round and a bunch of them are rejected. It's saying like, oh, this is a technically good photograph, but not commercial enough, or we don't want those types of photos. Mm -hmm. And then there's weird technical codes where it'll just be like random code. And this is like a perfect shot but the code is just some weird technical code. Does that mean there was like an error with upload? For all that, it's like, you know, I really don't even like doing stock photography. You know what else I don't like? Carrot cake Oreos. They taste like the worst parts of both worlds. Stale dry carrot cake and weird chemical blonde Oreo. Never again. Never again. You do something, you learn iteration. There's tons of stuff with animation and video that I've done in iteration where you look back a year later and you're like, whoa, look at how far I've come. But it really has to do with like the desire to want to progress. And sometimes with things, you set something as a goal and you think this will be a good goal. And then through the process of doing it, you find out you don't even want to do it. It's a matter of sometimes you go to do something, you hit the barriers of doing it and through like working out how to do it and how to figure out how to do it, you come to the conclusion that you you don't really want to do it. So is it giving up? Is it like quitting? Like, oh, I, I, I never did stock photography. I'm a quitter when it comes to stock photography. If you're self-actualizing, does the process of trying to do a thing where you find out that you don't want to do that thing during the process and you're like, yeah, I really don't want to do this thing to the point where I have photos where I'll think, oh, that would work for stock photography. <clears throat> Knowing all I know now about how the system works, I definitely would have a better success rate with the knowledge of this is what you have to do to publish stock photography, at least on Adobe Stock. I know there are platforms where they don't curate it as much and whether or not certain platforms just pay more or are better. The thing I liked about it was it was supposed to be convenient, but also that I just put it out there, which is convenient. So it wasn't convenient in the sense that publishing stock photography and labeling metadata is not a thing that I care to do, but it is convenient in that it was a thing that was available for me to try. Sometimes you do something, you find out you don't like it. I don't like doing stock photography. That is my story about stock photography. So that's that. Look at that, it was accepted. Okay. Huh.